Hi, and I want to thank everyone from uh, the Longevity Center and Aging 2.0 to bring us a uh, sort of great group together. We started with brain injury. We started with brain injury. Um, you see uh, some of the pictures of, of folks that we work with in the upper uh, right. Uh, your right is going to be um, some VA patients, um, and in the upper right, and the, the two top pictures are, are uh, brain injury victims or um, at the VA. Um, they're actually using our product. Uh, we are working with aging, which to us is often stroke. Mild cognitive impairment is really the area that we're focusing on a little bit because we're really trying to help people who are who are um, somewhat independent independent and we also work with autism adhd and uh, ms it really doesn't matter what the source of the cognitive impairment is we're really focusing on executive functions which is that ability to get things done to put plans together um, and follow them begin them execute stay on them when distractions and interruptions occur and that's really our focus is helping people get things done um, just a quick word on our background is I come from NASA. Uh, basically, we're working on autonomous systems, systems that integrate sensing and planning and reaction for things like the Mars rover because they also need executive functions. They can't work strictly on a pre-plan and they can't be completely reactive. You need to balance them. And that's truly what we all need to be independent and autonomous too. We need to balance them. And so that was our core technology software that can integrate planning and uh, reaction. And uh, this is where we've been since we started really in the nexus uh, between neuropsychology, computer science, and consumer electronics. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about our product. It's Pete. It's the planning and execution assistant and trainer. Uh, first thing I'll say is it's an Android app. It runs on Android tablets and phones. Uh, the main idea is it's a cognitive aid for the real world, uh, which means it's not a game that you're going to practice and hope it helps you when you leave the house or something you're going to do only in a clinical setting. Uh, we're really all about providing the type of assistance, the type of uh, real-time and flexible reminders that a human assistant would provide if they're going through you with your day. So uh, we provide very personalized reminders, uh, voice notes, camera pictures, things that are very rich in content to help uh, folks with uh, concrete thinking. Um, and we, we look at it like a GPS navigator for your time. So we're gonna, we, we have activities, but they have big time windows, and there's certain deadlines and, and constraints. And so the idea is we'll try to get you through your day, but we know you may be running ahead or behind, um, add new things to your schedule. And so it's kind of like recalculating. You know, you're going through your, your, uh, you're on your GPS navigator, but you get off track. The system's recalculating, trying to get you back on track. Or maybe you've completely change course altogether and then it has to come up with a new plan so that's really what we're trying to do um, and we've uh, we're currently involved with some clinical trials at the VA um, and Valley Medical Center and we'd also say it's a tool available to researchers um, many people have a lot of ideas how they might want to do stuff in this area but they don't want to build this kind of queuing front-end device and we've got an app with some back back doors in it that researchers can kind of plug in their own algorithms we've also got ability to collect data out in the field get it back to clinicians and researchers who who want to actually do some um, adjust their clinical assessment based on that? Uh, just a quick picture on the on the upper uh, picture. There is a, you, you see it's a schedule. Uh, the, all the activities have uh, have different things that could be linked to them. It might be a link to your contact information or the shopping might be a shopping list. Um, the main part is, is down in the bottom there you see a cue card. So some folks may only see the cue card. So you can set this up. A caregiver or therapist can set it up with all these activities and these schedules and fancy reminders. Well, maybe the user themselves is just getting that cue card, just telling you, you know what, in a few more minutes, you're going to have this bank activity. And then you have access to the information you need for that activity uh, right on the screen. So there, if you click that picture of the bank, you not only get a, like, a nice big picture of the bank, but we also bring in a calculator app. So you can bring in other apps that are part of Android and just have them show up on the screen just for that period of time when you need it. So this addresses working memory issues. You bring the uh, task relevant information to bear just when you need it. Um, so, um, as I say, it's an intelligent assistant, um, running out of time, I guess. So, um, I'll just say, you know, give, give me an email, I'll give you a little more information. Uh, we got all kinds of flexibility here. You show we're, a we're actually showing hierarchical tasks. You could set like a morning routine up, which is a whole bunch of different steps, and it's got flexibility in it. You run a little bit ahead, um, maybe you get a phone call, and it'll tell you you only have 15 minutes for breakfast or something like that. So, um, 
again, a lot of flexibility. If you're running, you're running, um, get delayed at the bank, we might have to move shopping till after the movie. These are all the types of things that if you had a, a pre-programmed reminder set up maybe at the beginning of the day, they, it'd be off track before you even start. And so we're, we're, we're doing all these adjustments on the fly. I'll just finish with saying we've gotten um, um, some funding from Department of Defense dealing with brain injury, vets, and things like that um, to add in all kinds of sensors, uh, which we're very excited about, and smart watches. Um, so we're doing a lot of very interesting things Things with sensors and smartwatches, things like that, to just do a better job of knowing where the person is in their day. So we're not going to remind them to do something at home until they're at home, uh, and things like that. So uh, a lot of very interesting opportunities there. And uh, we, uh, I'm at rich at brainaid.com, and please uh, contact me there, and I'd be happy to talk in any more in more detail. And I don't know if I have any any time. Okay. <laughs> There, if you want to introduce yourself and take the microphone. Um, my name's Carrie, and I have uh, a quick question and a longer question. So my quick question was just to ask why you didn't also have this app for an iPhone.